Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have a review for you guys. I am going to be reviewing the new NARS foundation that recently came out. I think I got mine about six weeks ago. I've been wearing it religiously just because I wanted to give you guys an honest opinion. Um, the foundation that I'm talking about is the new NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. It comes in a box like this. And the bottle looks like this. It's just a frosted glass bottle and you can actually see the color of the foundation. And the one thing I love about this foundation is they put a pump on it. I love when foundations come with a pump. It's just so much easier to work with. So I'm really glad that this one came with the pump. Now, starting off, you can find this foundation on the NARS website or you can get it at Sephora.com. I know on Sephora's website they have 20 shades available, so there's a good color selection, so I feel like you guys will be able to find your match. Now, I have the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation, and I picked up the same color. I know a lot of people have been saying that this foundation is a little bit darker than the other one, but I haven't had that issue. I feel like you have to really, really shake it just to mix everything up together because it's super liquidy. Can you guys hear that? So in my opinion, the color matches pretty good, but you can always go to Sephora and get a sample of it if you'd like to. Now this foundation is $48, and it's pretty comparable to the other NARS foundations, and it comes with a pump, so I feel like it kind of evens out. But this foundation claims to be a 16-hour wear, and it claims to be weightless and full coverage, and I will be doing a demo. I'll insert it somewhere in here, just so you guys can see how it applies to my skin. I applied it with a beauty blender on one side and then I used a brush on the other side. Now, I have a super dry skin, so in my opinion this foundation works really well. This is the foundation I currently have on. Now, I do not think that this foundation lasts 16 hours. In my opinion it lasts about 8 to 10 hours. After 8 hours I see that I have to blot and just touch up, so I haven't worn it for 16 hours. The most I've worn it is 12 to 13 and I have I did notice that it was starting to wear off and not looking as good as it did when I first applied it. Now I do believe that this is a weightless foundation. I can still see some of my skin peeking through through the foundation and I just applied one pump of this and I find that it gives a really nice medium coverage in my opinion but you could still see skin so it looks nice, it looks airbrushed in my opinion but it doesn't look like you have layers and layers of foundation on. Now, if you are looking for fuller coverage, I definitely think you can achieve it by just adding more foundation to the areas that you need full coverage. I have not noticed that this foundation looks cakey. Um, I will say, if you have dry skin, you really have to moisturize your skin and get it ready. Because with any foundation, if you have dry patches or even any flakes, anything like that, I feel like any foundation is going to cling to that area, so I always hydrate my skin and put moisturizer on, and I feel like the foundation applies better that way. Now, if you have oily skin, I feel like this might not be the best foundation for you just because this gives me a luminous, glowy look to my skin, and it, the foundation, in my opinion, is dewy. And if you have oily skin, I feel like it might be a little bit too much for you guys, and it might start breaking up from all the oil. But that's just my opinion. Now, I noticed that if I apply it with a brush, I get more of a fuller coverage, medium to full coverage, and if you do Beauty Blender, you get a medium coverage. I love wearing this foundation for everyday use if I'm running errands and things like that. I just feel like it's effortless. It goes on really easy. It's easy to blend out, and I don't have to think twice about it. I don't have to take a lot of time to do anything with it, to blend it. It just goes on really nice and smooth. Now, it's super liquidy, so whenever you apply it, you really have to work fast because it does dry pretty quickly. It is an oil-free foundation. So what I like to do is do half of my face. Instead of putting it all over my face, I just work on half, get that side done, and then work on the other side. This is fragrance-free, so if you guys don't like foundations that have fragrance or you can't really tolerate it, then this would be a good option for you guys. Alright guys, so that is my review on this foundation. If you have dry skin or normal to dry skin, I feel like you guys would really enjoy this foundation. Oily skin people, I feel like you might want to pass on this because it might start breaking up quicker than most foundations. 
I love that it is an 8 to 10 hour wear for me. I love that it looks natural, but it still gives you that full coverage. So in my opinion, I do recommend this foundation, especially if you have my type of skin. If you guys have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave them down below. Alright guys, I will see you in my next video. Bye!